uh, to Dion. Um, we saw in the first test between the first half of the second test mm. against uh, Australia, we had literally had zero scrums. Mm. In terms of using a scrum as a platform, has it fallen down the pecking order in the list of priorities going into, into the rest of the championship? No, definitely not. I think um, set piece will always be an integral part of, of your strategy in order to, to get the upper end against the opposition. Um, if you look at that specific game, um, I think uh, New Zealand has got eight scrum penalties. And obviously, if you if you have that advantage, it, it causes a ripple effect because um, from that you can gain territorial advantage. It puts you in a better position um, to, to, to score points from. Um, uh, and that game proof uh, actually was a showcase of that in the importance of a good scrum um, or a good set piece in order to get a better result. Any questions, sir? Yeah, sir. Uh, question for Jesse and, and, and Dion. Um, beginning of this season, uh, one of the things you guys hadn't gone around to doing was beating Ireland as a group since 2018. And obviously, I know you guys won the 2019 Rugby Championship, but it wasn't a draw. How much of an emphasis has gone into your planning to make sure that you put it through this time around, given the start as well as you've had? No, I think, um, I mean, in, in every game when you, uh, when you don't get the result you want, um, obviously um, you learn good lessons in that and you try to build from that specific lesson. Um, I think we've uh, we've looked at the game, um, we've learned our lessons, but we've put it behind us, and we actually from that we've actually grew um, a lot as a team and as a group, um, ensuring that we we better in those areas that we we thought we could have handled better. Um, and I think that is that is part part of of of, of growing your game um, is not to to dwell too much on on the past, but to to to, to look um, where you can improve going forward. Um, and uh, I think that is the cycle where we are, we are also in now in terms of to to look at how and where can we improve in, in the different areas of, of our game. Um, how can we ensure that we build more experience um, um, amongst our squad and our players to become better? Um, because it, eventually, um, if you if you look far uh, towards the future, the twenty the next World Cup, I think those it's important that we that we learn as quickly as possible and move on and, and build on that in, for the next game. Yeah. Um, against the Irish, that sort of reverted to tight, but it was a team uh, almost organised sort of, you know, one of the World Cup that was uh, this time around now against New Zealand. Do you think we could see a few more changes, you know, than last time? And the second thing is, uh, it's not often we really go into a New Zealand game where sort of considered favourites? Is that something that you are sort of need to talk to the players about and manage expectations? Um, obviously, we are in the process, as, as uh, explained previously, the, where we try to build um, squad depth going into the future, but it's also important for us to, uh, to win um, every test match. And uh, we also look to transform the way in which we play because um, Going forward, um, I think it's not going to be wise doing the same things over and again and and expecting a different result. Um, and uh, so, so for us, it's um, it's important to um, as we go on to make um, selections that put us in a position to get the best reward. So obviously, we look at the uh, the players' current performance, the opposition that we play in, um, the availability the, um, if they can be coached for the for the period of time that we want them to prepare properly for a game. Um, so we will we will take all those variables into account um, um, in selecting our team for this weekend. I think um, we're in a position now where we expose some of the youngsters um, to gain some experience against a top quality opposition, against Australia and, and the previous game. And, and, and I think we will we will continue to do that uh, if necessary um, with a with, with confidence in the, in the ability of all the players in the squad. Um, because it's important, um, I think, um, in the way we operate, that um, we assist each other, we help each other to become better, um, um, whatever, whatever opposition we faced. And, and that also then, if we get good rewards, creates an opportunity for the next player to also get his opportunity. Um, and yeah, I think that will be part of our big picture in, in, in the selection of our teams going forward. Um, there will always be massive respect 
between us and New Zealand, uh, given the history. I think there will never be a Springbok side running onto the field and, and put themselves as, as uh, uh, or underestimate um, whatever opposition, especially in New Zealand team, they play against. And I think there's, there's massive respect between the two teams. Um, it's a quality team. They, um, they showed in the last couple of games that with their backs to the wall, how dangerous they can be. They've got quality players all over the field. And I think it's going to be a massive challenge. And, and, uh, and it's going to be like um, the, the, this game and the next game will be, um, I think, with the same intensity and quality that is expected from a New Zealand South Africa um, contest. You know, given what you just said about the type of the game, the respect between South Africa and New Zealand, do you think it's going to be the same intensity as the World Cup final did? Well, definitely. I think, um, as I said, uh, if you look back in the history of the two teams, um, um, it always is, it's always close um, uh, against us when we play against each other. Um, there's there's good matchup in all the departments. Um, um, the World Cup final actually was showcased the same sort of intent and physicality and, and intensity, and I don't think it would be different. Any other game we play against New Zealand would, would be the same. Can you ask you, um, I'm just interested, are all the players in this current squad are, are they available for selection? And has the 10-day concussion rule applied as it left school when it comes to players like Salman Murad? Yeah, Salman is, um, follows the normal um, protocol for the for HIA, so unfortunately he won't be available for selection for this game. Unfortunately, we also got a voodoo in this, in this case in terms of our locks um, at this stage. Um, we know that guys like Lodi Jager, um, uh, Franco Mostert, um, um, Jean Klein, guys are out with injury. Um, at this point in time, a guy like um, RJ Schneemann is also unavailable due to a due to a leg a, a leg injury. Um, I, I, unfortunately, I can't go into detail in terms of that, so he will be out for a couple of weeks. Um, at this point in time, even Etzebet is also struggling with a with a bit of a niggle. So um, it's also something that we will look at in terms of his availability for this coming week. But luckily, um, um, at the end of the day, we've got, um, as I said, we've got some good depth in terms of um, guys that have played up till now in, in those positions. Peter Steve the Tweet, um, Ruan, Norkira had a good game um, in, the, in, in the last outing. We've got an experienced guy that Nicholas, um, with, which we brought in. Um, We've got um, Ben, Jason, Dixon have also played a couple of games at Locks for for the Stormers. So, yeah, um, I think it's 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 um, it will always be tough when you when you lose some experience, but it's also a great opportunity, an exciting opportunity to see um, the the quality and what the the new or the next guy can bring within the squad. Do you mean, where, where would you put him in that? You said he's also struggling with being fifteen, eighteen, nineteen. Now that is that obviously we will wait for the doctor's um, feedback on that. Do you know that as a Monday rule will apply? You told us about the Monday rule that if a player cannot train on a Monday, that player automatically does not qualify for a test match this coming Saturday. Is that totally correct? No, that it, it stays part of our protocol and it will apply all, every time. Do you know, um, almost like that for a and white lock anymore? Does that make things better? No, I think uh, Scott Barrett, I mean, uh, he will be back this week. Um, and I think it would be massive for New Zealand to have him back um, from a leadership point of view, but also in terms of a, from a playing point of view. Um, and I think, um, yes, White Lock and, and uh, Retallick were quality players and any, every, any team that lose that quality will, um, it will take them some time to, to build on that. But um, I think there's some good youngsters coming through and, and with the leadership and the assistance of Barrett and uh, Tupelotu and those guys around them, I think they will they will grow in stature. Yeah, um, just talk us through how happy you be with the evolution of the board, in particular. They were getting the expansion well, the rolling board yeah. the evolution. They've been getting the expansion well. They have been getting it didn't mm. quite come up. But just talk us through how happy or not quite happy you be with how that particular sector is working. Yeah, um, I think uh, if, if you look, um, at the defence of, of, of teams, different teams, um, how they defend malls and how teams have, have grown becoming better uh, defensively, um, in general defence or defending malls um, over the years. 
um, it, it, a test level, it becomes quite a, a massive contest because there's different um, approaches of different teams in order to, in, in how they do that. And that obviously ask different questions um, in terms of strategy, in terms of how you how you want to approach and and so that you how how you want to approach it from an attacking point of view to get better rewards, and and also for us, I mean we've we've obviously dissected the way um, we looked at it and, and and made one or two two changes in in, in terms of how we want to how we can execute it better, and uh, we will keep trying to evolve in terms of of doing that, um, but obviously um, there's also other means in terms of how you how you uh, can attack from lineouts and, and and when you get the opportunity to mold that you that you, that you use that as a weapon to be effective and then we will look at at all of that means to ensure that that when we execute it when we do it that we give ourselves an, an upper hand or an opportunity to get better rewards uh, yeah. we've got three more minutes yeah. can we do our accounts please yeah. Yeah. Okay. Beyond this, uh, the World Cup final, we would want to put it super to the side. I think this this weekend, um, if you look at Alice Park, I think the, there's also 1.246 to 247 in favor of the All Blacks. Then if you have this test match in next week, if you look at the, the World Cup final, the box of the five, uh, the World Champs, and the, the next two games, does, will that decide the best team on the planet? No, I think, uh, I, I mean, you play the World Cup for a specific reason, um, um, uh, to become the best in the world, to, to win a trophy. Um, um, and I think we've, we've, we've achieved that. And, and, and uh, as a team, we, we, we proud of, that, proud of that, that, that achievement. I think for us going forward, it's is, is just important to look at, at, at how we can get better in every test, test match. And, 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 and uh, as proud South Africans, we, we, we try to win every every test match, no matter who we play against, because uh, um, it's important for us. Um, and I don't think we go in with a mindset uh, to prove something different than that by just being the best that we can be on game day and, and ensure that we, we wear the jersey with the utmost uh, um, respect and pride and, and, and make, a, make the people that support us um, I'm happy in terms of how we do that. Yeah, do you, what, what, what Ik heb het gevoel dat je een beetje een beetje een beetje een beetje een beetje een anders as 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 teen enige ander span nie as om net te sorg dat ons probeer om die beste voorbereid te wees wat ons kan om 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 die beste resultaat te kry vir Saterdag. Ik denk dat baie opgewondenheid ehm um, onder die spelers om om weer eens die New Zealand te speel en en om nog 'n kans dit of 'n tweede nader te gee om 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 moontlik hierdie kampioenskap te win en ek dink dit is waarvoor elke span speel in in in, in hierdie reeks. Um, natuurlijk is dit altyd moeilik vir enige span as jy ervaring ervaren spelers het wat beseer raak of moendlik nie beskikbaar raak nie, maar ons is, ons, ons is ook opgewonde om die volgende generatie speler te zien in, in termen van, van hoe hy vorder en wat sy bijdrage gaan wees en ons het volle vertrouwen dat wie ook al in wat positie gaan speel en, en gekies word in die positie, dat hy die trein met waardigheid sal dra en, 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 en sy beste sal doen. Great, thank you very much guys.